people to T Boys TV. I hope you're well. I'm well. This is another topic show that I will be discussing topics, obviously. Um, as you can see, different sports. So, yeah, I hope you all enjoy the video in that. But, yeah, let's get straight into it. So, the first thing I'm going to talk about is it is official now. Canate signs for Liverpool. Uh, it is all over the Liverpool Instagram. Uh, Klopp has come out and said something. Let me just get it up real quick. He has come out and said about Canate. Uh, give me a second. He has said... We are signing a player who will add to the quality we already have here. He's His physical attributes are very impressive. He is quick, he is very strong and he is dominant in the air. So, yeah people, this looks like a good signing obviously. Um, as I said in the video yesterday, I haven't seen too much of him. So I don't really want to get too carried away. But he does look like a very good signing. I've heard from loads of different people that have watched him that he is very good in the air. So, yeah, man, this looks like a good signing. And obviously, with the other centre-backs, uh, if we do go through the troubles again, which, touch wood, we don't, we have someone, well, another centre-back who can do a favour, do a job for us. Um, but, yeah, man, it's official. I believe it is about £36 million. Uh, might be 40 million with add-ons. But, yeah, I think he's arrived in Liverpool. He hasn't had a picture in the shirt or holding the shirt. But there was something Liverpool posted on their Instagram. And it was someone in a blue jacket on, like, where the tunnel is. So, I'm guessing it was him. Um, but, yeah, man. So, we've got him. Our first signing. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. But yeah, what does this mean for other centre-backs? Uh, it's looking like Kabak will be on the way back to Schalke. Uh, I believe Schalke are trying to get him out of Premier League club though. But it does not look like he's staying with us. Um, obviously, I appreciate everything he's done for us. He's he's done a job for us, you know what I mean? Um feel a little bit sorry for him. But obviously, they see more things in Canate than Kabak so unfortunately it is what it is but yeah people oh people the next topic I'm gonna talk about is Conte um it's come out yesterday well or the day before even maybe that he has left into Milan um I believe it was a clash with the club owners I believe he wanted to get rid of some players um, and they didn't want it to happen. Obviously, I think the Inter Milan players will still respect Conte because obviously he won them the league. They haven't won the league for 11 years. So it was crazy. Um, but yeah, man, it is going to be interesting to see who they get. Obviously, they they will be in the Champions League due to winning the league next season. So... Can they actually be a force in Europe? Because this season, they wasn't great in Europe. But, obviously, they focused on the league and they won the league. So, fair play to them. Um, but, yeah, man, it just it depends really who they can get in. Um, are players going to stay now? Like, Lukaku and the likes of players like that. It, it's going to be interesting, man. But, yeah, it is... It is a weird one, but yeah, man, it is what it is. But what are they gonna do next? That that is that is the big question. Um, are they gonna go for the league again? Are they gonna go for Europe, like and the league? Or, I don't know. I don't know. It's gonna be interesting. It depends who they get. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I feel Conte's a very underrated manager like if you look at the job he they, he done at Chelsea he was excellent he's pretty much done it everywhere he's gone he's he's been exceptional um there's talks that he could be a Tottenham manager but I, I don't see that man I don't see that but Tottenham they're flying around with loads of different managers names right now 
But when in the football scene now, when it comes to managers, it's crazy that they're, they're all leaving. It's it's a madness. He could he could end up anywhere, or he might chill. But I don't think he'll chill. I think he'll still want to manage. But he could go somewhere like Real Madrid, maybe. I think he would be pretty good there, to be quite honest with you. Um, as I said, I don't think he'll go Tottenham. But yeah, man, it's it's a madness. Like Leipzig, have they even got a manager now? Like. I don't even know, it's a crazy one, it really is, but we'll just have to wait and see with that one, so yeah. So people, the next topic I'm going to talk about is also to do with Tottenham, obviously I spoke about Maurizio Pochettino, could he be on his way back to Spurs yesterday, check that video, not yesterday sorry, that video was yesterday, the news come out yesterday, he weren't going to return yesterday but it was a talking point, so make sure you check that video out if you haven't already. But, yeah, people, uh, the topic I'm going to talk about now is Danny Rose and Gazanega have left Tottenham. Obviously, Danny Rose has been there for 14 years. Um, Tottenham fans were a bit 50-50 on him. Some loved him, some didn't rate him that highly. Um, from my perspective, I feel respect, if you didn't like him, should be put on his name because he's been there for 14 years, you know what I mean? He's tried his best. I don't think he's been the greatest player, greatest left backs, but you know he's he's been there for years. Um, obviously, he had that beef, so to speak, with uh, Mourinho, but clearly Spurs have looked at it and they don't want him in his future plans. Um, I don't even know where he went. Didn't he go to some random club like? I don't know, he went Newcastle, then didn't he come back or something? I don't even know, I I forgot he even still played football, you know what I mean, until the news came out and I was like, jeez, uh, Danny Rose, he still plays, yeah, mad. But, um, yeah, uh, also, as I said, Gazanega's left. Now, I really don't know about this one. I feel he's a very good goalkeeper um, and the way Lloris has been this season that, uh, it's just happened, obviously, for Tottenham. He's not been great. Uh, Joe Hart, he's getting on now. Like, Gazanega, like, some Tottenham fans really rated him. And I rated him, to be honest. He, so there was loads of games where he could have been first choice. Obviously, Tottenham loaned him out somewhere. I don't even know where he went either. But, yeah, man, like, he, he's a great keeper. Like, I'd love to have him as a backup at Liverpool. Like, I'm not even joking. If we didn't have Kelleher... Then, yeah, because Kelleher's still young and he's very, very good, to be honest, for his age. And he is an upcoming keeper, I feel. Uh, obviously, Adrian, it looks like he's leaving. But, yeah, man, Gazanega, I, I feel he's a he's a very good keeper that's not spoken about enough. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about that and let me know where you think he'll end up. I hope he don't end up somewhere that's not really relevant because he is a very good keeper, like... I feel if he plays week in, week out, he could be a top keeper. Like, seriously, he is he's very good, I feel, and very underrated. But yeah, as I said, let me know what you guys think. So, people, the last topic I'm going to talk about before I round this video up, obviously a different sport, boxing-related, is that Fury versus Joshua will not be happening anytime soon now. Obviously, as you can tell... In the thumbnail, I'm gutted about this. Loads of people are gutted about this because this would have been the biggest uh, British heavyweight fight that we've seen for years. Maybe even the biggest ever. Um, Fury has to fight Wilder again. People are sitting there, mostly the Joshua fans, and going, oh, but he's, he's like, ducking and all this. Like, come on, man, just shut up. Like, how's he ducking? Like... He, he either has to fight Wilder again or pay 20 million for Wilder. And I'm pretty sure he's going to want to fight him again to shut him up. Um, yeah, I, I don't know why Wilder's so gassed. Like last time he made up the most silliest excuse. Oh, my body, what, oh, my body suit or whatever it even was, was too big. Like to shut up, mate. Like honestly. Like. But yeah, it means for Joshua, he has to fight Usyk. Uh, obviously, I rate Usyk. He, well, I've never really spoke about him on this channel, obviously. But obviously, if you're on my Snapchat, 
and all of that, you would know I think Usyk's very, very good, very upcoming uh, boxer, obviously new to heavyweight, but I think he's had like one or two fights in the heavyweight division, but yeah man, I think he's definitely one for, for the future, but the Wilder versus Fury fight is in July, I believe, it's in America, obviously, like you will know it would be, I believe it's in like Las Vegas or something, correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah man, I'm going to get into my predictions for them fights, so Fury, Wilder, I think Fury will beat him again, I think Fury will destroy him more than he did last time, I'm not even going to lie, people are sitting there and going, oh, Wilder's quicker, Wilder's this, that, like, Wilder looks good and that, anyone could, and the videos are literally him hitting pads, like, mate, it really doesn't matter, and everyone's like, oh, look at his physique, it, physique don't matter, like, if you look at Joshua when he lost to Ruiz, look at the difference in physique, like, it really doesn't matter, um, I think Fury... Obviously, is a brilliant boxer. I think he's the best heavyweight without a shadow of a doubt. This guy's never lost. Joshua's lost. I don't know how people can say he's the best one. I feel he gets gassed out after about five, six rounds. But, yeah, I think Fury's going to be too good for Wilder. I think he's just going to outbox him. He's just he's going to aim to just smash his head in, basically. Um, I don't know if he'll go for the knockout. I think he'll just make Wilder look like a fool like he did lot, uh, the second time they fought. In my opinion, I think he's he won both fights that he's had with him. Obviously, the first one, I don't think he actually won. But the way he got back up from them two punches, he didn't fight for three years or whatever it was. So, you know, um, I think Fury has won both the previous fights. Uh, obviously, he won the last one, slapped him up. Uh, Wilder use that bullshit excuse but yeah man so that's my prediction for that fight and then the Joshua Usyk I'm not too sure when they're fighting but I believe that is going to happen but what I think about that fight I do think Joshua will win but the thing is if Usyk loses it's not going to be as bad for him as compared to if Joshua lost because obviously I feel if Joshua loses his fight his career is done because as a heavyweight, if you have like two losses when you're meant to be one of the best, then that's not really not really great, is it? So, yeah, but how I see that fight going, I think Usyk will, will do a couple of good hits on him. Um, I think it will go quite far. I do think it will be on points. I do think that fight will go points. Um, I think the same with the Fury fight, by the way. But I think Fury will just outbox him. But the way I think it will go, I think Usyk will have Joshua in the early rounds. Maybe the first first couple. So maybe two or three rounds. Then Joshua will get the hang of how he fights. And then I think Joshua will use his special move, to, so to speak. The uppercut. And then I think it might be a bit peak for Usyk. But I think he'll put up a great fight. And he'll prove why he is one in the future for the heavyweight division. But, yeah, man, that, that's my predictions. Um, yeah, but imagine uh, imagine if they both lose. Like, that would be crazy. Joshua and Fury, like, they're meant to be the best two. I don't think Joshua is in the top two, if I'm being honest with you. I think Wilder is a better um, boxer than Joshua. Um but, yeah, man, it'll be be completely flipped on its, on its head, sorry, if Joshua and Fury lose. But I think they will both win. And then they'll get their fight. People are sitting there and going, oh, will they actually fight? And that they, they've they got to, really. Like, if you look at it, the biggest heavyweight fight that we're probably going to have ever, or British heavyweight fight, sorry, um, it's going to be like so many views and stuff um right, it's got to happen but obviously Fury's had to deal with this Wilder giving it all the mouth and all that like it's not Fury's fault like ever well not everyone people are sitting there and going oh it's his fault it's not his fault you know it's not his fault like if you, if you really think his fault 
it's his fault, you're just stupid. And the people that say he's ducking Joshua, like, come on, man, like, <laughs> it's just stupid. But if Fury and Joshua do fight, which I, obviously I think they will, I'll give my prediction right now. I believe I said it when I've done that video quite a while back now um, about it, but I think I think Fury will just outbox Joshua as well, so, like, simple as. I think the best thing Joshua will do is get one hit on him, and it might phase him a little bit, but other than that, I can just see Fury outboxing him, and Joshua not really getting near him, except to one, what that one shot that he gets, you know what I mean? Um, but, yeah, man, I don't think Joshua's nowhere near Fury's level. Right? I, I'm being serious, I'm not even taking the mick or saying it because I don't like Joshua, I, I generally don't see how he's on Fury's level, like, I looked at Joshua's previous fights, he gets gassed out too easily, and he's got a glass chin, um, Fury's obviously never lost, Fury's been knocked down, but that was, that was years ago, like, come on man, like, seriously, like, and people sit there and go, oh, Fury's not fought at who Joshua's fought, bro, I generally think if Joshua was to get in the ring with someone like Wilder, Wilder would batter him. Simply, he would he would cut him open and punch him up. Seriously, I reckon that right hand of Wilder's, because we have to be real, he's got a very good right hand. I think that would do up Joshua. I generally do think that. And everyone's like, oh, Joshua beat Klitschko, put respect on his name. Klitschko was like 40, right? In boxing, that that's old. Let's be real. Like, oh, it's just stupid. But, you know, um, let me know if you guys want to see me do a watch-along for any of them fights. Because if you do, I'll try and do them. So, obviously, the uh, Fury... Well, well, probably not the Fury Wilder because that'll be so late. I probably won't even watch that because... I think, you know, it's just too late. I can't really be asked to watch that. But, um... The Joshua Usyk, if it's in the UK or Saudi Arabia, because their time's not as bad um, as, like, in America, for instance. And, obviously, let me know if you want to see me do a watch-along for the Fury versus Joshua, if it does happen, which, obviously, I think it will. But I'll probably do that watch-along with somebody. But, yeah, man, just let me know. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to wrap the video up there. We've got... Actually, actually, before I talk about what I was about to talk about, uh, the Champions League, I will be doing a watch along with Lewis, so make sure you join that. Uh, hopefully, that's going to be a good one, a good game. I, well, I'll say my prediction right here. I think it's going to be a very even game. I'm not going to lie. I, th I do think it will be a game that will go extra time. I think it will be 2 all, and then I think... It will go extra time, and Man City will win, I think. I think they'll win their first ever Champions League. But, yeah, as I said, make sure you join the watch along with me and Lewis. So, yeah, people. But, as I was going to say, uh, we're on 184 subscribers now. Uh, I didn't realise till yesterday, one of my videos has like 600 and six views or something like it might even be more now like every time i look it just goes up uh it was the video where i did uh watch along highlights with the west brom game but yeah man i appreciate everyone that's watched that video and subscribed from that video liked the video and even the people that have disliked because you're still interacting with my channel so thank you very much for that but yeah, people, just keep doing your thing, liking, subscribing if you haven't already, sharing. I really do appreciate it. As I said, we're a growing channel. Um, obviously, I, I love providing this content for you, love providing YouTube content. It really helps me out uh, mentally as well. So, yeah, man, I appreciate everyone that interacts and, you know, is subscribed and all of that. But, yeah, people, I'm going to wrap the video up there. So, until the watch along tomorrow... I will see you guys in a bit. So take care and peace.